The death of Tyree Nichols has renewed discussions about the treatment of minorities during these encounters with law enforcement officers. It's a disparity that has many calling for reform. WRG's Jordan James has more on what's being said. It has to stop. The calls for changes are sounding across Memphis after the death of Tyree Nichols. All I know is my son Tyree is not here with me anymore. A reality for Nichols' family after the 29-year-old died three days after being beaten by Memphis police officers during a traffic stop. We will see what they did to Tyree. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who represents the family, says Nichols' death highlights issues within law enforcement. All of the officers fired for their involvement are African American. It is not the race of the police officer that is the determinable factor of the amount of excessive force that would be exerted. It is the race of the citizen. Crump, like many other activists, believes that for far too long, people of color have been treated differently by law enforcement. We got to have equal justice, equal policing. It's something that Van Turner of the NAACP Memphis chapter has spent time looking into and believes perception plays a big reason why. So much of what's portrayed as far as what we see uh, is that of our young black men and women, you know, being the, the face of crime. Turner says it's important that folks understand this is bigger than race. No matter the race of actually the young man or those officers, wrong is wrong. Reporting in Memphis, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3. As of now, none of the officers involved is facing a criminal charge. However, that could change pending the outcome of multiple investigations.